Welcome to Eastern Illinois, where things really happen! Oh, welcome back to Materials Testing. Let's see what Brian's doing. Oh, hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing the tensile testing. My name is Brian, and we're going to take this piece of specimen here and machine it down. But for that, we're going to need to go down to the production lab where Todd's going to show us how to do all that. So, come on down. What we're going to do on this process is do our center reduction to one half inch. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to line the edge of this screw with the line that you scribed, or that is actually already scribed on your part. So you want to line up the outside of the screw with the inside of that line. And we're going to touch off, turn the lathe off, and we're going to adjust our cross feed indicator to zero. That'll give us a good idea of how much material we're taking off. Start the lathe back up, go in 20 thousandths at a time. Use the power feed lever and engage it. Start getting close to the end, disengage the power feed and manually bring it in to where you want it. Back it up, take it back to the beginning. Line your screw up like before. And take it in another 20 thousandths. And we'll repeat this process several times. Okay, so at this point we're going to check our diameter and see how close we are. It should be really close. slightly off. We're going to take off that little bit there in the end and uh, should do one more pass. I'm going to check it. And this time it should be pretty, pretty much spot on. And that's wealth and spec, and we're going to go with that. Next step, we're going to mark your gauge length. To do that, we're going to remove the piece you just machined from the lathe, take it over to where we can spray paint it, and we're going to spray paint the center section. And we're going to use this scribe to mark our gauge length. So we're going to take our piece over to our painting station. Uh, do not spray paint anything when it's on the lathe. Make sure you take it over here and you're spraying on some cardboard or paper. Uh, we're going to use uh, Dicom Steel Blue Layout Fluid. You only need a light coat. You don't need to paint this thing really deep. And you're aiming for the center section here. I'm going to go ahead and do both sides.
We sprayed our layout paint and we're going to go ahead and scribe our two inch gauge length. So we're going to chuck it back up in the lay like we did before. Stone her up. And you're going to use the scribe that is already preset to two inches. It'll be here at the lathe. What you're going to do is you're going to lay it on top. You're going to find your, your center there. And you're going to scribe. And you can see our scribe marks on either end, and that's going to denote your two inch gauge length between. Now we go on to the threading station.